Hey guys, it's me coming back with another video and I am posting on the same day and at the same time. So basically, in my last video I was talking about Bloody Ma we were talking about Bloody Mary and supposedly of what she was and all that. And that video was unexpected and or that story was unexpected. And that and that story, as I said in the other video, that was like kind of the science of Bloody Mary, I guess. But but right now, I have the actual story of Bloody Mary and what she was and how she became who she was, I guess. And yeah, yeah, and how she how she become this um terrifying person so basically we're just gonna be reading about this the uh, the true and actual story of bloody mary so basically yeah we're just gonna do this we're gonna read it but before we begin into this video if you haven't already click that red subscribe button down below to become a part of the of my YouTube family, I would love to have you. And click the notification bell if you want to be notified every time I upload a brand new video. And if you want to follow me on all, all of my social media, they will be in the description box below. So, without further ado, let's get straight on into the story, the story of Bloody Mary. Oh man, okay. Oh, and before we begin to this, begin into this. If you are watching this during the night, I would I would su suggest put turning the light on. If you're in the daytime, G good for you. Um, so yeah. Okay, so let's get straight on into this video. So. Oh, okay. Remember that annoying little story of Bloody Mary? You know, that light, that light and candle in your room, in your bathroom with the lights out, lights out late at night. Look in the mirror and say her name three times in a row. Bloody Mary, Bloody Mary, Bloody Mary. Just a disclaimer, I am not filming this at night. <laughs> And I'm not in front of a mirror. I'm nowhere near a mirror at all. Um, so, yeah. Just a dis quick disclaimer. And hope you and hope you won't be found dead with your eyes scratched out. Right. I totally forgot about that. Oh my goodness. Okay. If you guys have, oh, sorry guys. I'm pausing so much. If you haven't, I'm pretty sure everyone's seen Supernatural, but in season one, I know it was somewhere in the beginning, but they, they did a episode on, with Bloody Mary, and oh my gosh, I totally, fr they, <sighs> man, they, okay, I forgot that, th that there was, char the characters that were found that they had their eyes, they have their eyes out, and oh my gosh, I totally forgot about that. So, if you've seen the Supernatural Bloody Mary thing, that's that's kind of basically, like, part of the story. Well, I guess the the show explains how, explains how Bloody Mary works, but I'm just saying I, w I totally forgot about what she's done, or what she did, or what she does. Okay, so I'm good now. Or with claw marks all over your body, or the possibility that you will be forever trapped behind the glass of the mirror for all eternity. I don't even think you can do that. Can you? I don't know. Okay. Anyways. What a fun and ch ch cherry tale. Well, must wonder where the tale had come from. There are hundreds of backstories on how Bloody Mary came to be. Yeah, 
I mean, there is kind of there is a lot of back, a lot of stories of Bloody Mary, but I've only known one. But I but I forgot what it was. So this is kind of a reminder for me and all of you guys. So, anyways, but one of the most reasonable as reasonable as it can get when a reflect when a reflection kills you is the tale of her demeanor I have no idea <sighs> okay before we get begin into the actual story I just need to take a breather <sighs> maybe you guys need breathers too so I get out of breath so easy, easily, guys. Okay. Okay, so let's get on with the video. Or, let's get on with the story, not the video. The story. In the 1800s, there lived a young girl named Mary. I'm sorry, guys. An illness watched, washed over the place where they lived, and making people drop dead after a short period of time. When physicists wa couldn't find a pulse or when they put a mirror under the nose of the seemingly dead, there might not always be cons. Oh my gosh, I know this word, but I can't pinpoint how to pronounce it. Constitution. Constitution. I don't know, guys on it from their breasts. So the fallen would be easily doomed to be dead. But were they? Cases of people who were pronounced dead but weren't happened often. So when one would die, people would put a small hole in a coffin and put a piece of string through the hole that was attached to a bell. The bell would hang on a stick by the homes of the, de of the deceased, and if they woke up, they would simply pull the string, ring the bell, and would be dug up. Wow. Okay, that, that, that's kind of new. We, knew, we, learn new so we learn something new every day. I didn't even know they did that. Okay, wow. I didn't even know they had an illness. <laughs> so. Of course, when Mary was in, was to bedridden and slowly died, she was laid in a coffin in her grave. She wasn't to be buried under just yet. It would be easier to unnail the coffin she was put away in. The string in the bell was, of course, on hand. Days passed then up to a week. Her parents never left the house, wishing with their very being that their sweet Mary would awake, awake, awaken again. Friends of the parents claimed that if she did, had not awoken yet, then she wouldn't. She, then she never would. That day, the parents left the house with their friends on their behalf. When her parents had gone, a neighbor came in began to fill her grave, string and all, just in case she would wake up if she was still alive, and if so, before she suffocated, the neighbor had said his remorse and walked to his home. Not soon after Mary awoke him from her slumber, she pulled the string, the string to the bell that wouldn't be heard from her parents who were out and the neighbor who was so far too was too far away. She pulled and pulled the string until the bell fell, and so did the stick. She began she began clawing and scratching her wooden prison until her fingers bled. Then she cut scratching till she breathed breathed her last breath. Okay, this is not. Okay, I'll tell you guys my thoughts later. When the parents arrived home, the father soon realized that the bell as yards away from it 
originally was and soon called for his wife to come and help him dig up their daughter. When dug through, they unlatched the coffin and found Mary in a petrified state, her hands like claws covered in blood, same with her white dress she was buried in. They put a mirror under her nose to see if her breath would show constidation, I guess the word is, was shown on the mirror, but even so she was dead. Her spirit is said to have attached to the mirror, and now whenever someone sa says, calls Bloody Mary three times, she come and claws at the unknowing victim. This is just one of the s sad stories to be about her demi demi Demis, I guess. There are plenty, and there and there might not even be a fact behind the year, but still, it's a glory story that can still kids, and you still have your heart beat up every time you say her name. Okay, guys. Yeah, so that was. I guess the true story of Bloody Mary, I don't think this was a true story. This is just one of the many stories that was told. But but what I've heard, she was a bride. And with this story, I, have, I mean, it, it seemed real. It, it, it seems real. Or, I mean, it could be real. Who knows? Um... But, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, yeah, that was like what I was confused about because I've heard that she was a bride. Like, I didn't, I didn't, I thought she like died when, like when she was old or not as a kid. But, I mean, I don't know. There was, I don't know, there were like, like I, like I said and what the story said, there there are tons of stories on Bloody Mary and one of them can be true and the others can be fake and who knows, maybe, um, maybe that story was true, who knows, but that was this, that was one of the stories I've, that's one of the stories I've come upon and read to you guys so basically that was the story of Bloody Mary and who she was and how she became Bloody Mary so basically that kind of answered my question probably all of your questions so yeah that is too high okay so anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed this story of Bloody Mary. I've enjoyed reading it and sharing it with you guys. And yeah, if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. Comment down below on your thoughts of Bloody Mary and what you thought Bloody Mary was. And who, or who she was. And yeah, and also comment down below any other urban legend you would want me to research on and share with you guys. I would love to read them. And, and, um, yeah. Like I, like I said, like, comment, and subscribe, and subscribe so you can be part of the YouTube family, I would love to have you, and if you want to be notified every time I upload a brand new video, click that rest of, click hit the the bell right next to the subscribe button to be notified every time I upload a brand new video. And if you want to follow me on all of my social medias, they will be in the description box below. <sighs> Hopefully, you guys have a good rest of your week, day, night, evening, and. I will see you guys in my next video. Peace.